Hello everyone, I'm Extra Cheesy 87 and this is Let's Play Persona 3 Portable. So, before we jump into things, I do want to briefly go over a couple of things. A, um, unlike most of my Let's Plays, this is not actually blind because I did play this game twice many moons ago, probably been close to close to 10 years. I think I last played this game in 2014. So it's, it's been a hot minute. I don't really remember all that much about like the specifics of the story and the game will be kind of treated as a blind let's play in the sense that I won't talk about things that I do remember until they happen in the game but you know for full disclosure on that point um additionally we will be I don't know why it keeps backing me out of the options because I know if I leave it on that screen for more than five seconds it's gonna start playing the like logos again um let's at least jump to the new game screen because we will be playing the female route because it's better like a lot better like significantly better it's the main reason why I was excited for portable over FES I'm the one Persona 3 portable enjoyer in the universe holding strong against the flood of comments of why didn't you port Fez I really like walking around the school it didn't get old after 60 seconds or nothing. It was really fun slowly walking around the school with like five NPCs. I really enjoyed that. Uh, why didn't you port Fez? I mean, like, yeah, I know the female route has like better uh, characterization and by proxy better story, but like I wanted to walk around the school. Yeah, that's what I should. I, I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't antagonize like the majority of the Persona community within two minutes. But you know what? Fuck it. So basically, there's the male route and the female route it's not technically just a gender choice there are some minor story differences but more importantly major character differences in the female route which is why we're going to pick it now difficulty persona 3 portable is easier than original persona 3 but there is maniac to try and balance it out it's approximately the level of difficulty of like Persona 4 hard. It's a it's a little bit easier than Persona 3 hard, if only because like the combat works now. Like I don't I've played on Maniac when I played Portable. I don't remember it being too bad. The only thing I really remember is that if you ever get back attacked, you instantly die. But that's just like how the SMT games work. Was that dang old butterfly, man? Time never waits and delivers all equally to the same end. You who wish to safeguard the future, however limited it may be, you will be given one year. Go forth without falter. Your heart is your guide. That's another benefit of the female route. It has time, the best persona song of all time. It'll eventually play. And we're, we're really coming out with some strong opinions early on in this Let's Play. We're just going to alienate everyone. Terminal Station. Evening. Station entrance is buzzing with activity. Meanwhile, elsewhere. I just put it to my head and pull the trigger. No chickening out. The one thing I will give the FES defenders, it does kind of suck the anime cutscenes aren't portable anymore. No, I can't. Particularly just this first one. The rest I can kind of like take or leave. The first opening anime cutscene in Persona 3 is really good. So it does kind of suck that that's not in here. I will, I will give them that. Inside the new city passenger train, Anya Hazard. Due to a malfunction in the switching system, today's rail schedule has been greatly altered. We apologize to any customers who are in a hurry. The next stop is Iwa Todai. Iwa Todai. Todai? You're telling me a toe died these Iwas? This is the final train bound for Tatsumi Port <laughs> Island. <laughs> 
care to board before our it's okay. departure. Anyone who's still watching, you have my permission to leave now. I consider this a personal project anyway. I've been wanting to replay Persona 3 for like four years now. It's almost midnight. Fuck time. Something about the atmosphere seems odd. Huh. It would probably be best to hurry to the dorm. Man, Japan kind of crazy with it. As you walk from the station, you notice coffin-like objects lining the deserted city. Uh, you know. <laughs> As you do. It's an eerily gigantic moon. Yekokan High School, Iwatodai Dorm. This is the dorm mentioned in your admission pamphlet. Couldn't we have like left at a better time so we didn't arrive at frickin' midnight? Welcome. Seems kind of weird. I never really thought about that, how weird it is that you arrive at the dorm at midnight. Like, you know, you could have gotten an earlier train ticket. You're late. I've been waiting a long time. Yeah, sorry about that. An unknown boy is holding a piece of paper out to you. If you want to proceed, then please sign here. It's a contract. There's no need to be scared. It only binds you to accepting full responsibility for your actions. Something is written on the paper he's holding out to you. I'm not going to read that shit. Scroll to the bottom, except EULA. I chew that this fate of mine own free will. Below it is a blank to sign your name. If you don't sign your name, you'll not get an education. Alright, I know there is a canon name. It's like Katone something. I don't remember. And because I can't remember, we're just gonna put in our screen name, I guess. Um, like we did in the other Persona games. How do I switch it? Okay. There. Very well. Time is something no one can escape. It delivers us all to the same end. Wishing won't make it go away. And so it begins. Yep, that's how people, that's how normal people talk. Alright, see ya. The unknown boy disappeared as if melting into the darkness. Who's there? You know. How can you be? But it's... I know, it's weird that we're here at midnight. Don't tell me. Why are you wearing a collar? <laughs> that's a... That's a Legit ass collar. Girl, it's holding something something that looks like a gun. Wait. <gasps> the lights. You have electricity. I didn't think you'd arrive so late. Well, you know. My name is Mitsuru Kirijo. I'm one of the students who live in the storm. Who's she? She's a transfer student. It was a last minute decision to assign her here. She'll eventually be moved to a room in the normal dorm. Is it okay for her to be here? Rude. I guess we'll see. This is Yukari Takeba. She'll be a junior this spring, just like you. Hi, I'm Yukari. Yeah, we heard. Um, why do you have a gun? Huh? <laughs> um, well, it's sort of like a hobby. Well, not a hobby, but... But like, legally, can you have a gun? You know how it is these days. It's for self-defense. But like, aren't you a minor? It's not a real gun, of course. Oh. It's getting late. You'll find your room on the third floor. Your thing should already be there. I suggest you tuck in for the night. Oh, I'll show you the way. Follow me. 
Dormitory, third floor hallway at the furthest door. They would put us at the back. This is it. Pretty easy to remember, huh? Since it's right at the end of the hall. So, any questions? Um, uh, uh, yeah, that was a contract. Huh? Can I sell my soul to the What's devil? What's this about a contract? Something about our firstborn? Yukari doesn't seem to know what you're talking about. Um, can I ask you something? No. On your way here from the station, was everything okay? Um, what do you mean? You know what I... No, I don't know what you mean. Explain it in big girl words. Never mind. It seems like you're alright. Well, I better get going. Um, I'm sure you still have other questions, but let's save them for later, okay? Good night. I already walked down the stairs, all right? This is your assigned room. Oh, put you in a fucking trance. Use the moving buttons to move the cursor. Hold down the cancel button to make the cursor move faster. Press the guide button to display all the icons and you can save and stuff. So yeah, the, the game kind of takes a like a visual novel approach in Portable. Um, just because, you know, it's originally a PSP game. Personally, I kind of like it more um, to a degree. Because it does allow for much faster navigation. So there, there's some benefits to it. Get the damn calendar. Get at the desk, you're tired today, you should go to bed early. The mirror reflects your regular face. Wow. You are tired today, you should go to bed early. Alright. You're tired today, you should go to bed early. Early? Isn't it midnight? It's Yukari! I don't know if I'd really consider midnight awake? early. Especially since we have to, like, you know, Did you go to sleep school. Okay? Mitsuru Senpai asked me to take you to school. Are you ready to go? I'll, I'll be okay, Mom. Oh, are you sure? But you don't want to risk being late the first day, do you? Come on, hurry and get ready. I mean, we took the midnight train. I feel like we, we can be trusted to make our way to school. There it is. Inside the new city passenger train. We have to take the monorail to get there. Bet your last school wasn't like that, huh? This is my favorite part, when it feels like you're gliding over the sea. It's so good. Like, I don't even like, like, this type of music that much. It's so good. Our stop is Port Island Station at the end of the line. From there, we walk. Have you ever heard of Tatsumi Port bike? Island? It's a man-made island. They built our school right in the middle. Oh look, you can see it now! Morning! Morning! Well, here we are! Welcome to Gekukan High! You're gonna love it here! That's debatable. It does You're have okay a banging here, theme! Right? Oh, you get to hear this every day at the start of school! You should go see your homeroom teacher first. The faculty office is right there to the left. And that concludes the tour. Do you have any questions before I go? Can I leave? Um, yeah, where's the classroom? I think they're posted on the bulletin board, but I haven't checked yet either. Hey, about last night, don't tell anyone what you saw, okay? What did we see? You mean the creepy ghost kid you have in a gun or the coffins? See you later. Or the fact that the electricity doesn't electricity doesn't work at our dorm seems like a safety hazard. There are many people standing in front of the bulletin board. Press the sub menu to select an area and go there immediately. Like how they just say press the sub menu button. Hey, what's the sub menu button? I mean, I know it's square, but like, if I didn't, I don't see my name. What should I do? We're in different classes. Okay, you look important. I have no clue who you are. I, I have no clue who this lady is, by the way. Maybe? Maybe you're vaguely familiar? I think you're a portable character. I think you're only in the female route. There's no need for them to post the names of the kids who are going to be in our class. I mean, we'll never see them again after we graduate anyway. Great, I have the worst teacher ever. I don't want to look at the bulletin board. I'm talking. 
Three students are talking. Hey Kaz, why are you wearing your PE uniform? School just started. You really ought to find somewhere to change into some normal clothes. Uh, I guess. Okay, okay, fine. Quit glaring at me like that. Where's the bulletin board with the horns posted? It's right there. You're in class F, Kaz. Maybe your damn grade. I'm in a different homeroom, so I can't keep an eye on you. I'll worry about you sometimes. I won't even watch you all the time. Who are you, my mother? Huh? The faculty office? I think it's that way? Actually, I'm new here. You probably should probably ask someone else. Fair. I want to buy some bread. You brought your damn mind? 50 bucks for a book cover? 5,000 yen? Kids these days don't know how to show respect to their elders. We're the teachers. We live longer than them. Moriyama and her gang had to pull that on me at the very beginning of the term. I'm sorry, sir, but I have to go. It's time to place my order. Even you're shooing me away. It's the way to start the school year. I don't think my nerves can take this. Ah, it's the big one. Uh, you want me to order some more of those cream-filled breads you like so much? You could have just asked. Don't take the bulletin board. Class rosters are posted. Come on, give me class C. You can't find your name. Damn. Give up. <laughs> the end. Roll credits. Game's over. Uh, perseverance. There's a small note with your name on it. Class F. You look closer and notice that the name Yukari Takaba is also on the list. Seems like you'll be in the same class. No, we weren't like stalking her. We just happened to see her name on the list. We didn't read it four times trying to find her name or nothing. <laughs> Go to the faculty office. I don't know where that is. dog what the hell a man wearing a kabuto who looks like a teacher is talking to a foreign male student you see every man must have the passionate samurai spirit within him at our school we encourage our students to think like samurai in order to accomplish great things like like not exist anymore that's fantastic these teachings of Bushido are very important than they are now Yes, 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 you may not be a native of this land, but the spirit of the samurai flows through you just the same. They seem to be having fun. Yeah. Oh, you, you guys are saying something different? A fascinating lesson. Do you test your students on these histories? Of course I do! Yeah, alright, you guys. You do you? Hmm, strange. It says this is a library here. I was just in one down the hall. Is that another classroom? I have no clue who you are, by the way. As I, as I said at the start, I have played this game. For anyone who's not familiar with the with the channel, my memory is awful. Can I go to the library? It's the faculty office. Oh, are you the new student? Something like that. Extra cheesy. Oh, that's our name. Eleventh grade, correct? Oh, uh, maybe. Teacher is flipping through pages in a file. Wow, you've lived in a lot of different places. You know me. Let's see. In 1999, that was what, uh, 10 years ago? Your parents... <gasps> Maybe you should have read the file ahead of time, shouldn't you, lady? I'm sorry. I've been so busy I didn't have time to read this beforehand. I'm Miss Toriyumi. I teach composition. Welcome to our school. Um, yeah, nice to Such meet you. Such enthusiasm. We could use more go-getters like you. Have you seen the classroom assignments? You're in 2F, and that's my class. But first, we need to go to the auditorium. The welcoming ceremony will be starting soon. Follow me. As you begin the new school year, I'd like each of you to remember the proverb, if a job's worth doing, it's worth doing well. Additionally, the second proverb, Principals always deserve a salary raise. When applied to student life, this means... The principal continues with his speech. You can hear the students around you whispering about something. I heard we got a transfer student. Damn right. Yep. I've seen her too. She came to school with Yukari. I hear talking. <clears throat> I believe it's someone in Ms. Toriyumi's class. Shh. Be quiet. You're going to get me in trouble. Doesn't it sound like the rumors will stop anytime soon? If only there was some sort of student who was a lover of rumors. Early morning, after school. 
Homeroom is over. Your first after school session is about to begin. After school session. Sup, dude. <laughs> you look like a deer in headlights. Um, who are you? What do you want? Do you oh, want? come on. Let me introduce myself, at least. I'm Junpei Iori. Nice to meet you. I transferred here when I was in eighth grade. So? I know how tough it is being the new kid. So I thought I'd check up on you. Make sure you weren't freaking out on your first day. Ugh, at it again, huh? Honestly, is there any girl you wouldn't hit on? Did you ever think you might be bothering someone? What? <laughs> but I was just being friendly. I mean, it said his name was Friendly Student. If you the say so. The game would never lie. Anyway, some coincidence that we'd be in the same homeroom, huh? Yeah, something like that. Um... You're not our friend yet. Yeah, I know. Crazy. Huh? Uh -huh. All right. See you. We're a member of the Going Home Club. Um, hello. Did you forget I'm in this class too? Come on, let me in on the fun. By the way, do you guys know each other? I heard you two came to school together this morning. A couple of cuties like you, showed you us her walking gun? side by side. <laughs> the whole class was buzzing about you. Ugh, could you just cut it out? I hate dealing with rumors like that. I mean, I'm used to it, but she just got here, you know? Don't you feel bad spreading rumors like that? Well, I've got to go take care of some archery team stuff. Don't try anything funny. You got that, Junpei? Oh, your hobby was gun shooting. Now it's bows. Make up your mind, lady. Nanny? Something like that. Well, just to clear something up, I seriously didn't come over here to hit on you or anything. If you ever have a problem, you can tell your old pal Junpei about it. Um... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ouch! Yucatan's rubbing off on you already, huh? Well, I'll be seeing you around then. Sorry, Junpei. Your role in the story is to be my punching bag? Junpei uh, caught up to you in the halls and persuaded you into letting him walk you back to the dorm. Whoa, check out the jocks on the run. Hey, did anyone tell you about the school clubs yet? Uh, wh why do you say it so normally? It's in red text. It's got to be uh, about the school clubs. Yet. Girls can join too, so uh, why not do it if you're interested? Already part of the Going Home Club, my favorite club. You'd be joining as a new member. Though, going home, so you won't be able to apply for a little while. Wait, small talk with Junpei while walking back. Oh, I'll put you in a damn trance. There's a sign-in sheet on the counter. I gotta sign in. You can save your game with oath. Welcome back. <laughs> I knew that. I mean, it's a little weird of a sign-in I mean, I guess. Sure, we'll save. Oh, it's the <laughs> still the PSP save menu? That's funny. You really shouldn't be outside You're on your own at night. It's too dangerous. Anyway, you must be tired. You should get a good night's rest. Nope. Hi, what are you doing? Um, what are you doing? Just killing time, doing nothing. Probably pretty tired, huh? Maybe you should go to bed early tonight? Nope. You want to uh, show us your gun? It's the men's room? It's the women's restroom? Yeah, sure. Do we meditate? Ruminate on all that's happened thus far? Your mind wanders as you wash your hands. What should you do today? We cannot allow you to go out after dark. What if it's like... Daylight saving time, and it's dark at like 5 o'clock. Do they do daylight saving time in Japan? Probably. For some some god-forsaken reason, countries do that shit. So they can ruse. Are they all, wait, 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 Akihiko's room? The nameplate says Akihiko. There's someone inside. Limit sure. through. I'm busy now. Could you, sorry, but can you come back later? Uh, yeah, go up. Anyone up here? Any machine? Mitsuru's room? Nameplate says Mitsuru. Oh, I can't break in. What about Yukari's room? Yeah, sure. Later, downstairs, they're talking shit. A young man walked down the stairs as Mitsuru was reading a book. I'm going out for a bit. Hmm? Have you seen the newspapers lately? 
We're a teenager. We don't look at the newspaper show, weirdo. I know. People who had no problems before are suddenly developing acute cases of apathy syndrome. I've seen it in the news quite often lately. They say it's due to stress, but... Yeah, right. It has to be them. Why are you gonna make that face? Otherwise, it's not worth my time. You have a one-track mind. Will you be okay on your own? Don't worry. I'm just getting a little practice. <sighs> this isn't a game, Akihiko. Well, in a very literal sense. You overhear a conversation. Did you hear the rumor? Um, something about a bathroom? No, no! Not that one. I mean, the story about the first year student. Not only did she stop coming to school, she does nothing but sit and stare at the walls all day. Her mother tries to talk to her. She only mutters to herself, it's coming. It's coming. Huh. How about that? You don't believe me? First bell is rung. Afternoon. Open your textbooks and we'll take a look at the first novel by Zinzo Kasai. Why him? I don't know the teacher about Utsubo Kubota. He became famous as a singer, but he also produced fine literature. Wonder why it's not in the textbook. Well, I'll just bring Kubota's book next time. I don't think you can do that. Hey Junpei, were you listening? Who did I say was my favorite author? Uh, uh, well, uh, well, uh, who does she like? Uh, Utsubo Kubota? That's right, so you were listening to me after all. Well, you know me and paying attention. <laughs> Man, you saved my bacon. You know, the classmates whispering. She gave him the answer. She must really pay attention in class. It became slightly more popular. Damn right. Class is ended for today. There's nothing to do, so you decide to go back to the dorm. But no, my talking. My NPC talking. Look how interesting that one guy looked. The dormitory lounge. Yukari is already here talking with an unfamiliar man. Oh, she's back. So, this is our new guest. Good evening. Hello, yes, I have long hair and I don't care. My name is Shuji Ikutsuki. I'm the chairman of the board for your school. Ikutsuki. <laughs> Hard to say, isn't it? I mean, there's harder names. That's why I don't like introducing myself. Even I get tongue-tied sometimes. I apologize about the confusion regarding your accommodations. However, it may take a while longer before you receive the proper room assignment. Is there anything you'd like to ask? What about those three wacky digits on the back of your credit card? Why did you come here? Who else lives here? Yeah, what are you doing to here, welcome dude? welcome you, of course. Speaking of which, where's Mitsuru, Yukari? She's upstairs. As diligent as always. Although it doesn't hurt to come down and say hello. Do you have another question? Um, who else lives there here? There were only four students in this dorm. Doesn't seem very efficient. You, Yukari here, Mitsuru, and a senior named Akahiko Sanada. I hope you all get along. Do you have another question? Yeah, sure, why not? You saw something strange. Like what? Well, okay, there was a gun, there was a creepy child, and there were coffins. You were probably just tired. I wouldn't worry about it. It's bad for your complexion, you know. To, to worry? Something doesn't seem right. Do you have another question? I'm good. Then, I hope you have a successful school year. Now, if you'll excuse me, you must be tired from all the excitement. You should go to bed early. As they say, the early bird catches the bookworm. Nobody says that? Please forgive the bad pun. Not even a pun. <laughs> You'll get used to his lame jokes. Uh, does that even qualify as a joke? I mean, I'm a master of lame jokes, but even I wouldn't say that shit. You should rest for today. You decide to return to your room and sleep. Main character should do be a sleepyhead. Get her at a certain room in the dormitory. Working hard? Or hardly working. <laughs> Uh, so, how's she doing? She went to bed a little while ago. She's asleep now. Alright, so you, you guys are freaks, got it? Mr. Chairman, do you think she's... And weirdos looking at us while we sleep? Well, let's wait and see for now. The dark hour is approaching. Meanwhile, in a back alley of Tatsumi Port Island. <sighs> 
And this sucks. Upbeat music is playing from the radio that the man threw away. KJ Radio presents The Bay Tuners. Tune in again next week for more of the hits. This program is brought to you by Kirijo Electronics. Kirijo Electronics, always there when you need them. It's a horrible slogan. Pick something better, something more catchy. The time is now midnight. Actually, apparently it's five seconds to midnight, lady. You wouldn't tell me the clock graphic is lying to me? Huh? What the? What's happening to me? You'll, you'll be fine. Sometimes you just get inked. I got a certain room in the dormitory. <laughs> hmm. No, that's a weird She's still shit, sleeping. Sleeping. The dark hour occurs every day at 12 midnight. You could say it's the hidden hour. Who are you, who are you expositioning to? During this time, an ordinary person transmogrifies into a coffin and is oblivious to all that occurs. Then she must be... As you can see, she's retained her human form. She's asleep, but she's definitely experiencing the dark hour. The only question that remains is whether or not she has the potential. Although she must. If she didn't, they would have preyed on her by now. Scary. In any case, we should continue to monitor her for a few more days. Yes, sir. I feel kind of bad, though, spying on her I mean, like you this. you should. It's literally illegal. We could sue. Won't be GeckoCon High anymore. It'll be Aracon High because we own the damn school. Master? Master? Things are going freaking crazy. Welcome to the Velvet Room. You okay, dog? My name is Igor. I am delighted to make your acquaintance. This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. Only those who have signed the contract can enter this place. So you're kind of info dumping right now? Paper you signed at the dorm is lying before Igor. Henceforth. You shall be welcome here in the Velvet Room. You are destined to hone your unique ability, and you will require my help to do what so. What do they put in that school bread? It's giving us some crazy dreams. I only ask one thing in return. That you abide by the contract and assume responsibility for the choices you make. Okay. Um... Uh, yeah, sure. Um, yeah, what? That is fine for now. Hold on to this. Igor hits you with a pull my finger. There is still one more resident of this room who unfortunately could not be present for your arrival. But I'll make sure you two are properly introduced. Another time, perhaps. Till we meet again. I right, see you. Bye. Oh, you had a strange dream. Time to go to school. <laughs> oh, man, I'm so sleepy today. It's times like these, you're supposed to sleep during class. You ever notice how sometimes taking a nap in class makes you feel more refreshed than sleeping at home? Damn right. Um, I know what you mean, man. Right, you go from being dead to being completely full of energy again. It's such a great feeling. Then again, I'm not listening to the lecture, so I'm screwed later. Okay, but we have the classic literature today. That means we're stuck with Mr. Nasty Oli Coda. I'm Mr. Coda. I'll be teaching you classic literature. I'll be uh, teaching you about the good old Japan all year. Same people say classic lit isn't relevant to everyday life, but ho, oh, how they're wrong. 
students, the other teachers. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Nobody really understands classic lit. You feel tired. Close your eyes? Absolutely not. Are you all listening to me? Wake up, children. Open your textbooks. Where's our syllabus? Is Ise Monogatari. Monogatari. The origin of Japanese literature. It's a very interesting story. You youngsters might call it the bomb. I can tell how many of you people are zoning out. You stand up and listen to the lecture. Your academics has increased. And calling it academics does make more sense than calling it knowledge in the other games. Because it is always weird that you get a question right and it increases your knowledge when, in theory, if you already knew it, you're not any smarter. You meet, you met Yukari at the shoeboxes and decided to go back together. Following them all. Have you come here before? Nah, man. A lot of Gekukan students come here after school. All I do is I go to school, I come home, and I immediately go to bed. What was wrong with us? I got like wasting syndrome. There's a karaoke box and a CD shop. Oh, and a really great cafe, too. There's also a nightclub, but that's kind of not for us yet. Paulina Mall is crowded with students on their way back from school. Welcome back. The moon is be beautiful tonight. Might be nice to read a book by the moonlight once in a while. Damn girl, what's your moon made of that you can read by read a book at night? I don't know what you guys are saying. Used to be a dorm mother here to do stuff like cooking, but there's just us students now. Yeah, it'd be great to have somebody like that doing stuff for us, don't you think? Um, yeah. I mean, I'm not a good cook, and Mitsuru Senpai just doesn't do things like that. You know, if you're handy around the kitchen, I bet you can really do something with this place. Not too bad. I only know how to operate uh, an oven. That's like the peak of my ability. These network computers were installed when the dorm was built. The main purpose is to send the school reports about daily life here in the dorm. School reports? Talk to Akihiko. Doesn't seem to be anybody inside. What about the secret uh, surveillance room? Can we find that? All right, I guess we go to bed. You feel tired? <laughs> Can I study? Nope. Can I look at the mirror? Oh, wait, what did it say? I just your regular face again. I guess, well, we'll keep going for a little bit longer because, like, nothing's happened yet. Um, this is a decent place to stop our first video, but we'll, we'll keep going. We'll finish this day, at least. At a certain room in the dormitory. How is she? The same as last night. Generally, we're probably going to shoot for like hour long videos. Uh, just I like to make the first video in a series a little bit shorter. Hmm, very interesting. Even those who have the potential tend to be unstable at first. Memory loss, disorientation. But this subject is rather unique. She hasn't exhibited any of the common symptoms. All she do is sleep. But we're treating her like a guinea pig. I understand your concern but it's imperative that we recruit new members. I heard she's in your class. Wouldn't you be more comfortable working with someone from the same grade? You just step away from the mic? A female classmate at that. Yeah, I guess, but still. So you can tell that's like a lot and that was recorded later. <laughs> An emergency call from outside rang through the room. Command room. Is that you, Akihiko? You're not gonna believe this. This thing is huge. Akiko, are you calling us in the bathroom again? No. Unfortunately, I don't have time to talk. It's chasing me. I wanted to let you guys know. I'm almost there. Does that mean he's bringing that thing here? Mr. Chairman, let's suspend our observation for now. We'll prepare for battle. Right. Be careful. Akihiko! I'm alright. 
Get ready to be surprised. It'll be here any second. This is no time to joke around. It's one of them, Akihiko? Yes, but not an ordinary one. Uh, you guys like how we're talking all vague-like? What the? You've gotta be kidding me! Mr. Chairman, please head for the command room. Takeba, go upstairs and wake her up. Then, escape out the back. I mean, we're just vibing. But what about you two? You'll need to wake us up. We'll stop it here. We obviously need our sleep. You let it to us, Something's Akihiko, wrong with so us. I'm afraid you'll have to fight. Like I had a choice. What are you waiting for, Yukari? Go! Ha I'm going! Your room. You're welcome by a loud noise. You go check outside? No, I'm good. Wake up! Sorry, uh, I'm coming in! That's probably not for me. I don't have time to explain. We have to get out of here now! Um, okay. Hurry, downstairs! We'll leave through the back door. Wait, take this, just in case. Handing you a long, thin implement. Seems to be a naginata. You just have one of those? Okay, let's go. Kind of like me. a weird thing to have. The dormitory, first floor at the rear entrance. Alright, we should be safe now. Takeba, do you read me? Yes, I hear you. Be careful, there's more than one enemy. The one we're fighting isn't the one Akihiko saw. What? Uh, let's pull back. Okay. Second floor. What was that? Hey, it's uh, getting closer. Can I go get something from the drink machine real quick? Do we have Keep Saham? Moving. Hurry. I can really use a Mr. Salt. The dormitory rooftop. The door's locked. I think we're safe for now. Huh? Hello. You gotta be kidding me! It climbed up the wall? I mean, it's just a bunch of arms. There. They're on the roof. That gigantic shadow. Just what is it we're dealing with? Let's go, Mitsuru. Wait! That's the thing that attacked this place. We call them shadows. Oh, yeah. I have to fight. Hey, yo, what's going on, lady? I can summon mine. No problem. Here it goes. Just taking the easy way out? Yeah, I think he's made of freaking arms. I don't want to deal with that shit. Music doesn't really fit. The uh, chomping on the arms. <laughs> the doo 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 da. While uh, Mr. Arm is getting eaten. What on earth was that? <gasps> hey, uh, sorry about that. You know. You know what they say, you're just not you when you're hungry, right? <laughs> Sudden soul of power has subsided. Orpheus retained, regained its original form. You have obtained a new persona. Is it over? Yeah, something like that. <gasps> or not. It's still moving. A piece of the shadow is heading for Yukari. No! You have to save her. Damn right. 
Uh, you said a piece? There are clearly two pieces? Alright, uh, get back. Absolutely eviscerated. Don't ever talk to me. Okay, we don't have any magic attacks. I don't know, keep getting back. I do like a war piece, just like I'm gonna hit you in the damn face, right with my heart. We're a slacker, we're, we're plain, and we're timid, damn. Orpheus is leveled up. The monsters are gone. Seems Yukari is safe too. I feel exhausted. Losing consciousness. <gasps> are you okay? Oh, come on! Please! Can you hear me? My sleep. I don't get my 16 hours. Answer me! This is the velvet room, was it? It's so nice to see you again. You became unconscious after awakening to your power. I see that it was Orpheus that heeded your calling. That power is called a persona. It is a manifestation of your psyche. Um, my psyche? A persona is a facet of your personality that surfaces as you react to external stimuli. Are we secretly the greatest heart player the world's ever seen? You can think of it as a mask that protects you as you brave many hardships. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's what Orpheus when is? When you use your persona oh, ability, the dude who played the harp you real must well, channel your and inner like, strength. Died. I mean, granted, most people die. The ability evolves as you develop your social links, your emotional ties with others. There was like some ladies, and they were like, hey, play the harp for us, and he's like, nah, I'm too depressed, and then they cut his head off. I'm pretty sure that's the story of what happens to Orpheus. It's kind of fucked. The stronger your social links, the more powerful your persona ability. Please remember that. Now then, time marches on in your world. I shouldn't keep you here any longer. Next time we meet, you will come here of your own accord. Why does that sound like a threat? Until then, farewell. Uh, my days? What the hell? <laughs> what? Controller's been disconnected. That is getting clearer. I'm in the, I'm in the damn hospital? You can see a white ceiling. wonder how long you've been asleep. There's someone's presence beside you. You're awake. I'm gonna be honest, I not remember that shit. Um, how do you feel? Like I've... Have still haven't had enough sleep. Um, yo, where am I? Oh, thank goodness you finally came too. We will go ahead and call it here though. Next time, we'll uh, figure out what the hell's been going on in hospital land. I'm Extra Cheesy 87. Stay tuned for the next part. And bye, guys.